And we are going down some steps right now. Oh, this place is insane! <laughs> So guys, welcome to my beautiful one bed, mini fridge, television on the wall, full cabinet with a bathroom and a toilet. One star hotel out here in Kuta, Bali. Jokes aside, this is my second full day out in Bali. Basically yesterday I had some delicious food, met up with some friends for sunset out in Changu, and today I'm heading on the first Bali adventure, showing you guys one of the most beautiful and unique places out in Ubud. So right now I'm leaving Kuta. Um, I'm gonna be heading actually to the bus stop and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my transportation in just a second. Take care. So these are the mean streets of Kuta. And Kuta pretty much is like very touristic. Again, it's for a lot of tourists, so it's not really the experience of Bali. But just about two blocks where I've been staying at the last two days is my bus station. And I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to be partnering with BookAway.com this year. And I'm going to be using them in regards to different transportation methods all around Southeast Asia, from boats to buses to ferries, you name it. And just a few days ago, basically, I booked my book away bus ride from Kuta directly out to Ubud. And it was a smooth process right on their website. So I'm gonna put their link below. I used them a couple times already in Thailand, heading out to Hoi Han and Pattaya. And I would highly recommend book away. So check them out. My bus station is like right up here in Kuta. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, brother. Where are you going? The bus station, like right up there, right? Bus station? Yes. To uh, Ubud, right over there. Oh yeah, Prama, okay. Prama. Yeah, thank you. And uh, maybe 200 meter left side, yeah? 200 meter. Okay. Thank you. Everyone is so friendly in Bali. I absolutely love the Balinese culture and I'm so glad to be back. And the good thing is right now I'm using a brand new mic. So I'm actually using a road mic. So the wobbly noise should be gone. So crossing my fingers, the sound should be perfect. And unlike Thailand 7-Eleven, Indomart is the way to go out here in Indonesia. So no 7-Eleven, but Indomart right next to where I need to be. So Perma Tour and Travel. This is the bus station. So I found my place, again, bookaway.com. I booked everything from Kuta out to Ubud, and it's about an hour and a half bus ride. I'm gonna be taking the 12 o'clock bus, and it's really hot out here. The good thing about right now is there's not that many tourists because it's like slow season, monsoon season, but the last week, it's been really nice weather, so I'm crossing my fingers the next couple weeks. The weather will be on our side, and the bus should be here any second now. It's coming at 12 o'clock, we got about 30 minutes. It was a quick like hour, hour and a half ride, but I made it out to Ubud, I made it to the bus station. Now I'm probably gonna find a taxi, I might call it Gojek, and uh, try to get to this very, very special location and my one night stay out in Ubud. You said you, you do taxi? How much to Aura House? I think with a bike. Motorbike? I have oh, this. No problem. This bag put in the front. No problem? Yeah, no problem. Uh, <laughs> you do it many times? Yeah, I do many times with the motorbike. Um, so normally I would call like a Gojek and uh, I found this guy like right when I got off the bus and I just negotiated so it's a motorbike ride even though like I have my luggage with me which kind of concerns me and uh, it'll be 70,000 Indonesian rupees so it's like six bucks I'm thinking roughly to take a motorbike about 25 minutes just on the outskirts of Ubud. We're gonna be making it to this very very special spot. I'm really excited to show you guys for the first Bali vlog out here. Hey can I get a ride? <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay I'll jump on. You okay? Okay. Okay let's do this. Only in South Asia. <laughs> All right bye bye. Makasi bye, thank you so bye. much. Take care. All right guys, so after about a 30 minute motorbike ride, we drove the Ruba, it's super beautiful. I'm so happy to be back out in Bali. We made it to Green Village. That's what my Google Maps is saying. <laughs> we made it out to Green Village and this place is really, really beautiful. Everything I think here is made of bamboo. This is just on the outskirts of Ubud, so about 30 minutes outskirts. And we are staying in Green Village at Aora House, which I'm really, really excited about. Supposedly when I was trying to set up a couple nights at Aora House, they only had this one available night from now until August. So right now it's like January 16th and it's about 250 American dollars per night roughly. And I'm about to check in. Christopher. Christopher Love. Yes, Regina. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. you. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. This place is beautiful. Everything's like bamboo over there and everything's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so where should I walk? Go to the office first. Okay, so this is the, 
<laughs> this is the office. This is like a bird's nest. <laughs> this is so cool. I'll take my shoes off. I respect you. I respect you guys. Hello. Hello. All right, this is where the paperwork happens. All right, so I got the paperwork over. They have a beautiful setup. So they have a little cafe where they can make you some food and you can have some food, although breakfast included. They also have a pool area. And right now I am following her to Regina, Regina to okay. the Aura House. Welcome, so this is Aura House. Okay. This is so pretty. So there's like a bamboo place over here, another one over here, and we're going down some steps right now. This is it? Yeah. Oh so my goodness. This, <laughs> oh, this place is insane. This Sorry. aura house was booked yeah. up to August, this which is house crazy. Is always full. <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. All right guys, Regina is super nice. She ended up heading back to the head office and right now I made it to the Aura House. I have a couple friends joining me within the next couple hours and I'm about to give you one of the ultimate room tours. I was literally giddy running around the place when Regina was showing me the tour. This is one of the most, if not the most unique property I have ever stayed at and I love giving accommodation tours. So I'm about to show you a tour of the Aura House out in Bamboo Village in Bali. This is a must stay if you guys are coming out to Bali. So basically you enter right over here, you have a little wooden stairwell and this is the entrance to Aura House. This place is super beautiful. So you're gonna keep your shoes up front, but right when you walk in, you have a giant living area with a table, you have some couches, another couch, and you have stove, you get water. I love this because you have like a full kitchenette, so if you guys want to cook instead of getting a hotel, you can cook right over here. And we have the fridge, and this is kind of like the little pantry area right in here. See, you got the fridge right there. Let's close that, this place is awesome. And look at this, so this is kind of like the little commons area, the living area, with a view to the forest. This is so beautiful. I absolutely love the space. I love all the furniture. I love the common area. This place is so nice. And this is kind of like, again, the top floor, the entrance area, the common area where people hang out at. Let's get out of the common area and let's go downstairs and show you the two bedrooms. So right when you walk back out, you have some steps and you can either go that way or that way. I'm gonna show you bedroom number one first before you go in the bedroom. On the left is the bathroom. So this is super pretty. We have a little stand-up shower over here. We have a sink. This is like marble or something. This is really nice with a mirror. We have a little towel rack. We have a toilet right behind me. But let's show you guys the first bedroom. So this is the first bedroom. This is amazing. We have a king size bed right over here. Again, everything is eco friendly and made of bamboo. So you want to keep the lights off, except for these ones. And you have another little sitting area right over here. And I love this. Gotta unlock it. Walking out here, you have a beautiful balcony. You can relax in the hammock with the same view as above but this is the first bedroom this is so pretty literally walking through this earlier with regina i was shaking i had goosebumps i was so giddy but this bedroom blew my mind with the view right behind me but let's go show you outside in the other bedroom and always keep the doors closed because even being a bamboo house they have an air conditioner here which is nice so you got the first bedroom over there turning this way you have some steps that leads to your own private pool right in front of me. This is so beautiful. Right down this path, going further down. So you have the private pool over here. You can see the setup of the bamboo villas. This is one next to me. I also have one over there, but it's so unique and so beautiful. But let's keep going. And this is the entrance to the second bedroom right over here. I love that there's a little couple couches on the balcony. Again, it overlooks the beautiful nature of Ubud. 
And this, <laughs> I love this part, this is like a hobbit. It reminds me of like of a hobbit's home. It's like round. <laughs> I love this. So you basically push this, or you pull it. <laughs> you push it the other way. And this is the second bedroom right over here. So you have like a little AC unit over here. You have a king size bed, I'm pretty sure right over here. You have a little table with your balcony, amazing view. And right over here, I'm pretty sure is the bathroom. So you got a sink, you got a mirror also, and you got a toilet. This is perfect. Let's get out of this bedroom. So again, I'm out here for one quick night at Aura House. They're booked up all the way till August, so I'm very blessed and very thankful to be staying at the Aura House for one quick night. If there's availability, you guys need to check it out yourselves. Honeymoon, if you're with some friends maybe even, this place is really romantic, it's super beautiful, and they have tons of different properties around here, all made of bamboo. You can even hear the little river down there, I love it. And uh, right now, a couple of my buddies are actually coming over, so I'm gonna lay low. I haven't eaten anything since I left Kuta. I haven't eaten any breakfast, any lunch, so I'm really, really hungry right now. So right now, I'm probably gonna order a little room service because they can actually have room service delivered to you. Unfortunately, the kitchen, I think, closes at eight. So I'm gonna try to eat some food right now, and then I'll be welcoming a couple guests. I can't get over this place. This place is crazy beautiful. Oh my goodness. God, I cannot get used to this place. And I have a special guest with me, Michael. Hello, nice this, to meet you guys. This is my buddy who I just met. I've been actually speaking to him on Instagram. You messaged me. Yeah, about like a year, a little year. over a year ago. And uh, we've been basically chatting for like the last year, trying to figure out a trip together. And he was working with Cody, but now Cody went back to the US and he's with me. So Woo. it's finally nice to meet you after chatting for a full year. Yeah, man, it's great. And welcome to the Aura House. What do you think of this place? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Oh, whiplash. It sounded like it was going to break. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> this place is incredible, though. It's pretty sick, yeah. yeah the views are nice. Everything's beautiful. And I am so hungry. I haven't eaten anything still yet. I've been getting so much content. I shot two drone batteries up. I got some B-roll around the place. So, like, even though I said I was going to get food, I haven't eaten yet. I'm so hungry. So, we're waiting for Cam and Kels. They're actually going to be joining us in the other bedroom tonight. Um, maybe we won't even wait for them. I think I'm gonna order some room service because they should still be here like in, within the next hour, I'm thinking. You wanna eat? Are you hungry? Yeah, let's get some food. Okay, let's do some room service. All right, so look who made it. The Leander Fully Field. She's right there. Right over there. That's her. <laughs> what do you guys think of this place so far? This is sick. It's a nice place. Yeah, yeah this is beautiful. like, we haven't come to this one before, so this is, this is nice. This is new, this is fresh. It's so nice to be back in Bali in your home this time. They were in Bangkok with me for a while now. Welcome home. We're in Bali. Welcome to your second home. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> so they're gonna be staying with us. I think they're gonna take the bedroom downstairs. We got the bedroom right here. I have some food coming for me right now. It's like 4.30 already. And uh, I'm really, really hungry because I haven't eaten anything at all today. We're gonna lay low. We're probably gonna hang out here because there's so much content and so much beauty to explore in our little bamboo treehouse, bamboo villa, whatever you guys want to put guys, it. what should we talk about? And what? <laughs> so much activity space. What is, dude, what, what are you just, doing? I don't know, dude, I just feel like you could, anything goes here. Anything goes. Oh my God. This is like a giant playground. I've never felt so like, like at Wait, peace with my inner child. This could be the perfect thumbnail. So we're gonna just hang here all night. We're gonna lay low, we're gonna hang out up in the living area, and I'll catch you guys in the morning with essentially my review of the Aura House after tonight. Catch you guys in the morning. photo shooting the heck out of Kelsey. Getting tons of B-roll. And they set us up with a floral bath this morning, which is nice. It's been a good little morning. We caught a nice little sunrise. It wasn't as crazy as we expected because Cam predicted the sun to come out that side, but it actually came out the other side. But we got a nice little drone flight. Our breakfast should be here probably in the next, I don't even have a watch. I'm just so used to looking at my hand in the next like five minutes. So we're just gonna keep shooting and then get some brekkie right after. <laughs> and it looks like breakfast is already here. 
So I got the pancakes with syrup, we got some scrambled eggs and omelet. I slept pretty well last night. You're totally in nature, so you can hear all these little insects. You can hear crickets, you can hear, you can hear everything out here in the jungle. And it was an awesome stay, one night at Aura House. I would highly recommend it. Uh, right now we're gonna eat some breakfast. And at 3 p.m., Michael and I are heading to Nusa Penita, which this will be my fourth time heading to Nusa Penita, but I've never spent the night there. So I'm really, really stoked for the next video. And uh, we're basically, again, yeah, gonna eat some brekkie, get out of here in about two hours. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first video out here in Bali. If you guys are in Bali, either with a loved one, with a group of friends, and you guys wanna just chill out in Ubud, definitely check out Aura House and the other bamboo houses in this area. They're absolutely beautiful, and they're definitely a once in a lifetime stay. And I hope you guys enjoyed this first video so make sure you guys smash the like button comment down below on some other places that I should check out while I'm out in Bali I do have specific plans set over the next two to three weeks that I'm here however I do have a week available so let me know in the comments and make sure you guys smash the notification bell so you guys are notified for the next video we're gonna enjoy this for the remaining couple hours this place is so beautiful sunrise was from that side and we'll catch you guys in the next one it's gonna be a pretty detailed new Panita travel guide so I'll see you guys in the next one cheers I think I spotted a wild oh, Michael. <laughs> oh, he's coming in. Just, this is Sparta. You gotta keep your doors locked. How did he get in? Hide your ah! kids, hide your wives. These are my food, <laughs> these are my food. Go, go. Ah, oh no. Ah. <laughs>